Hi, I'm Ann Keniston from the Department of English, um, and I wanted to thank the Lilly Museum for asking me to read a couple of poems for you today. I'm going to read two poems. The first is from uh, my recently published book called Somatic, recently published from Terrapin Books. Um, this is a late poem in the volume. Um, it's a poem that quotes some words from Kathy Carruth, who is a well-known writer about trauma, um, and it's about a release, um, or as the title says, an accrual. She felt a loosening, like being touched, or falling down inside the dark, almost a dark joy, almost a hymn to joy as if one could claim one's own survival and stop protecting the little fragment that already has a protective shield, the chip, the stain. Her arms and shoulders felt tired, and then the stuck knob that never could be grasped fell off and she went out to watch waves against the rocks, the plumes diffusing into the air. And then she was in a room, the bulky, out-of-date furniture, still there but invisible in the dark. To have survived means having been compelled to make endless testimony to impossibility. Let her wake from the dream and out of death into having survived precisely without knowing it so she can learn again what it is not to have survived, the dumb luck of having been one moment too late. Um, the second poem I'm going to read is a brand new poem. Um, I've been working on a series of self-portrait poems for several years, and I've been writing several poems uh, with variations on the same title, which is the title of this poem, Self-Portrait in the Time of COVID-19. Not opening up nor delving, digging in these days. No scraping off of surfaces to find pay dirt or trash or half decomposed near earth in process, unresolved reversion back whence it came. Instead, I mostly waver, drift till afternoon, then night arrives, both alert and numb, the watery bag that is my life about to spill over, but seldom yielding in that way, wobbly with weight, sack I've always carried tight against my gut and heart, not only grief with its sharp edges, but the old imperfect burden, which is all I've got, my kingdom come and faith observable, my face now visible with hollows under my eyes and too long hair dressed in whatever comes to hand, some random objects I didn't really need but never thought to set that burden down, the comfort and consolations displaced I hold to all night long, and all this while the leaves, as usual, emerge crinkly damp, dark reddish, those unfurlings which are also a clench, hand's breath, handful of seeds, and from a distance I see the bare branches tinged with them, as if with something intangible for this while, just all there is and nothing much, remainder, ordinary round, the world extending out from here, with its infinite beautiful, unbearable woes and sufferings, injustices I see and understand, but can't repair, too shy or scared, a little clutch of stuff as yet unbloomed. I am still, after all, the unconscious push-pull of breath sustaining me, drifting through this afternoon, though I'm often worried, can't sleep. Feel, feel I'm filling time. 
Um, many thanks for listening, um, and I hope you enjoy those poems. <laughs>